All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're down here in the basement and we're gonna continue my home office makeover. Uh, we're doing two things. I'm gonna show you how I mounted these three monitors to make a cool kind of triple monitor setup. And then number two, I'm gonna show you how I ran these wires through the wall and then through my desk so that we have some cool cable management where no wires are seen. But let's get to it. All right, so the first step was to place the monitors and I wanted to make sure that I had an arm's length distance between me and them. And then also I wanted my eye level to be in that top quarter or right at the top of the monitors. Next, I marked out the location of the studs in the wall using one of these stud finders. All right, so the next step for me was I, I laid out all my measurements on this board. Uh, it's a three quarter inch pine board, four feet long. Uh, what I'm choosing to do is mount my monitor arms to this board and then mount that to the wall. It helps me in a few different ways. This way I don't have to use drywall anchors. I know that everything's securely attached to a board and then attached to a stud, which I like a whole lot better. And the other thing that it really does is I'm marking out a line at the top of this board and at the bottom of this board, and it's gonna help me keep all of my monitor arms parallel to each other and in line. So on the board, I'm laying out a line on the top and the bottom for the top and the bottom of the monitor arm. I'm marking out where each one of my studs are located, and I'm also marking out the center of the room and where the first monitor arm is going to go. And all of this will exactly line up with the studs in the information that I found earlier. To make sure that the monitors are at the height that I wanted, I set it back up on the box, the height that I liked earlier, measured up and figured out how high that monitor bracket needed to be. Then I translated that information onto the wall so that I could use that to mount the board to the wall. I checked it with a level to make sure that that board's gonna be 100% level. And in theory, if the board's level, then all the monitor arms will be level as well. Then I temporarily mounted the board to the wall, just using some decking screws and checked it to make sure it was level. Next, I pre-drilled all the holes and I screwed in the two and a half inch lag bolts and washers that came with the kit. Then I came back around and just put on a finishing tighten with a ratchet just to make sure that they're not in there too tight. The first monitor arm was the easiest. I lined up the part that attached to the monitor with the center of my room or the center line that was marked on my board. I used that to find the holes where I was gonna be mounting it to the board. Then I pre-drilled those and attached them with a one inch by one quarter inch lag screw and washer. I drove those lag screws in with the impact wrench and then I ended up doing a final tightening with a ratchet just to make sure you don't overdo it and I made sure that the monitor arm was square to the board and to square to everything else using a speed square. Uh, the first monitor was test fit on there, so I put it on here kind of temporarily. I made sure that it was pushed up all the way against the wall and in the exact position that I wanted it. It was level and square in every direction. Then I came back with the next monitor and monitor arm attached to it and I kind of test fit it and moved it around until it looked good and got, a, got it in a good position. I had the monitor arm partially unextended so that I would have plenty of movement and room for articulation later, uh, but I just got it in a good place, found that, and marked it. Based on that mark that I just made, I installed the second monitor arm, and I did it the same way that I installed the first one. Then I went back, I put a monitor on there just to make sure that I liked the way that it looked, and it looked awesome. So I went back and I marked off that distance on the other side and repeated that process by installing the third monitor arm. Once all three monitor arms were installed, I put the three monitors back on there and they lined up pretty well. There were some slight discrepancies with angle and just a little bit of height, but those are all adjustments that you can make in the arms. So I was good to go. All right, so I have a, an outlet right underneath my desk and very easily I could have just ran a surge protector or a power supply and put that right underneath my desk and that would have worked fine. But for me, the entire goal for this was to have zero wires or zero cables showing. So what I wanted to do instead was on the bottom of the desk, put an outlet 
and a cable pass-through right underneath there so no wires are visible at all. I marked off these locations underneath my desk as, as, as well as behind my monitors up above that I just mounted. All right, then using an oscillating multi-tool, I went ahead and cut these holes out in the top board behind my monitors as well as the board below my desk so that I could have holes in the wall to fish these wires through. If I would have been planning ahead far enough, I would have cut these out prior to mounting the board to the wall or prior to making my desk. Uh, but these were kind of decisions that I, I knew I was going to do, but I didn't know the exact locations of them until the other things were planned out. All right, the next step was to pass the cables through the wall, and I just used a piece of Romex and a coat hanger. Um, I thought this was going to be super difficult, and so I didn't really even get any footage of it. Uh, I just slid the cables down through the wall and, and through the other hole. All right, here are all the cables that I'm passing through the wall, and there's definitely more than I need, but with a future PC build coming, I'm trying to future-proof this so that I don't have to pass any more of these through later. Then it was time to pull the cables through the wall. Uh, so I had that original piece of Romex in there, and all I did was tape all the wires that I wanted in the wall. I taped those to the Romex, and then using a pushing, pulling motion, pulling from the top and pushing from the bottom, I pushed them up through the wall. Um, I did fight, have to fight the insulation in our wall a little bit so if you're doing this on an interior wall where there's no insulation it'll be even easier but I didn't find this to be that bad the cable slid up right between the paper layer of the insulation and the inside of the drywall then down below I fed up the power cable to my new outlet you can see that I'm using an orange 10-2 here but after doing a little bit of research and looking at the breaker for this circuit I found out that 10-2 was really all I needed and made that change all right, then the next step was to get power from the original outlet, and I'm not an electrician, so I'm not going to go too deep on this one, but I did make sure that the electric was turned off. I made sure that I was using the correct wire for my circuit or for my breaker for this circuit. I connected the outlet using the pigtail method, and then I wired up, rewired, and installed that receptacle and put on the cover plate. All right, then underneath the desk, I installed the box. One of those wires is coming up from the outlet that I just wired, and then the other one is going up to the outlet that is going behind my monitors. The reason that I'm installing two outlets is because it's not up to code in my area to pass through power cables through the wall. Um, once above, you can see here's the, the boxes that I'm using. They have the little tabs on them, so if you're mounting these just in drywall, those little tabs will actually hold it in there. I couldn't end up utilizing those because I have the 2x4 thickness on the bottom, and then I have this 3 quarter inch thickness board on top, um, so I just had to screw them in. But then I repeated that same process over again by wiring up the electrical outlet up top, reinstalling that receptacle, and putting on the cover plate. Then using a cable pass-through kit that I bought on Amazon, I did the same exact thing. It worked out very similar to the receptacles. There's a box or a grommet that all the cables feed through. So I just fed all the cables through there, mounted that to the, the wall on the top and on the bottom. And then I put on a decorative cover plate. And I have to admit, these things looked really clean once you were done. All right, then back underneath the desk, I'm gonna start drilling some holes. Uh, the desk that I built has these supports in them. So all I had to do was drill a one and a quarter inch hole. It's a big enough hole to pass anything through that I need, uh, but not big enough to kind of take away from any of the structural support of the desk. Um, and it's kind of nice because these holes are going to be actually helpful in holding the cables up towards the bottom of the desk. All right, then I started passing cables through the holes, and I used the one furthest away from the wall for all the monitor cables and things that were going over to my PC. And then the hole closest to the wall I used for the surge protector. I plugged that into the outlet that I just wired up, and I mounted it using some double-sided mounting tape. I found these clips on Amazon. They have adhesive on one side, and then that piece opens up, and you can put about three to four different cables in there, and they do a really nice job of holding those cables to the bottom of the desk. Then all of those wires are going to go into this wire wrap. Uh, this is a one-inch wire wrap, so it accepts quite a few cables. Um, so all my cables are going to go from underneath the desk through this down to my PC. And yeah, I know you can see this, so technically there's a visible wire. But this is kind of just temporary until I get my new PC built. But overall, I'm really thrilled with the way that it looks, and you really can't see any of the wires in here because the top of my case is so tall. All right, then back on the top, the real rewarding part was putting all the monitors back. Um, so I just installed the monitors right back on the monitor 
arms. Uh, I screwed them down tight because they weren't coming off, made some final adjustments and tweaked them so they fit really well together. One trick that I used was I used duct tape on the back of each monitor and I taped the monitors together. That way that there's no visible light going in between the monitors and they're held together super tight and they shouldn't be going anywhere or moving. Then for the cables up top, I use a combination of zip ties, duct tape, and Velcro zip ties to bundle up all the power cables so that they're reduced in size as much as possible. Then I mounted a surge protector using the same double-sided mounting tape as I did underneath my desk. After that, I zip tied all of the power supply cords to the monitor arms. And as I was doing it, I first zip tied them on the top. Then I found out it looked a little bit better if you zip tied them in between the monitor arms. And I think I maybe go back and switch it up even a little bit more to try to reduce the clutter and organize those wires a little bit better. But overall, I'm really thrilled with the way that this looks. All these wires are tucked in behind the monitors. You can't see them and it looks really, really clean. All right, so for right now, we're, we're about done. Uh, monitors are hooked up, cables are ran and, and all wired, and it's working. Um, I've actually started using it for the past day or two to start editing this video and, and looking at different clips, and, and I absolutely love it. It is awesome. The three monitors with no stands, no visible wires, wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, and it, it is so clean. Um, and you can use every inch of this desk, which I absolutely love. It makes my OCD and my meticulousness and organization part uh, really happy. Um, so I'm really liking this so far. That being said, it's nowhere close to being done. Um, I've got a set of speakers coming for it that I need to wire up. There's all kinds of different accessories and stuff that I need to put on here. Uh, USB extenders, SD card extenders. I have my microphone and, and arm that I need to put on here. Um, maybe some LEDs, a TV up here would look really awesome. So there is a ton of stuff that I still want to incorporate into this. We're not done yet. I'm going to make another video with that, putting all that stuff in there. The home office here that I'm making over is nowhere close to being done yet either. I've got to do all kinds of paint, trim, all kinds of stuff um, to make this into the really cool space and productive space that I want it to be. But for right now, this is where we're going to stop. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Um, if you are enjoying this journey or, or you're enjoying some of the other stuff that I have on my channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you can see any new video that I post. Uh, but other than that, I guess I'll see you in another video.